Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Deepin just released an update to their Linux distribution, dubbed Deepin 15.9. It's only a point update with a few nice things added to the desktop, so let's take a tour. Power management. Deepin has expanded its power management options, most notably allowing users to set different delays before the monitor turns off or before the whole computer goes to sleep, depending on if the computer is on battery or plugged in. This was a glaring omission that I'm glad has been fixed. Deepin also has added a screensaver when the monitor is turned off. Touchscreen support. The big new feature is touchscreen support in the Deepin desktop environment. It can now be used with touchscreen gestures such as click, double click, long click, or simply scrolling up or down. This might help users using it on tablets or convertible devices, especially since the Deepin DE is pretty much perfect for that kind of use, with big icons in the dock, a control center that looks like a phone settings, and no menu bars in applications. On-screen keyboard. Deepin now ships with an on-screen keyboard called Onboard. It can be set to automatically pop up when editing text, making it start hidden, and is a very configurable beast in general. Options include setting transparency, choosing a layout to use between a few different ones with a custom Deepin layout, theme selection, which even has a Model M lookalike theme, snippets creation to make typing long words easier, as well as enabling sound on keystroke or even changing the behavior depending on the mode you're using your convertible device with. Combined with the touchscreen support, this should make Deepin a strong candidate for any tablet or convertible device. Various improvements. Deepin 15.9 also adds the ability to change the Grub background page, just by dragging an image in the small visual representation of Grub in the boot menu settings. This is a nice touch, even though most users won't spend too much time on their Grub screen. Deepin Movie now has better handling of subtitles, with improved fonts being used, and the screen won't turn off while you're playing a movie. The Deepin Terminal tabs can be closed by middle-clicking on them, and the Archive Manager now defaults to zip compression. Finally, the Deepin File Manager can now preview GIFs. A lot of bug fixes also have been implemented, and most notably fixes for a lot of crashes, so Deepin and the Deepin DE should now be a lot more stable by default. All in all, Deepin 15.9 is a small improvement over 15.8, but it adds a few nice things for touchscreen enabled devices and is full of bug fixes and little touches to its default apps, so it is definitely worth updating. Existing users of Deepin can simply go to the update menu of the desktop and start downloading. Don't forget to switch servers if you're still using the Chinese ones and you're living somewhere else, because you can really speed up download times. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.